since the most important night that we give over the Messiah, our tradition, to our children is the night of Pesach, we're going to just say um, a uh, short idea in honor of Shabbat Gadol to our dear friends. We want to wish everybody a very happy and healthy um, Pesach, Achak Kosher V'Sameach. We know that the, one of the focal points of the Seder is the four children, right? So obviously the master of all the children, the prince at the Seder is the Chacham, the wise son, right? And that's why he comes first. Then we deal with the Rasha, the evil son. And then finally we go to who? The... Um, you know, third third in line over there is the uh, the, tom. the Tom. And then finally, the one that doesn't even, is so young, he doesn't even know how to, what's going on. So he's not so much with the program, we bring him into the program. We say get into the program, this is what's going on tonight. The question that a lot of the Mepharshim ask is that, um, you know, that, Parenthetically, the, the the most published Jewish book after the Torah, even more than the Siddur, historically, is the uh, Haggadah Seder. Everybody, even some Jews that don't have a Siddur in their house, they're going to have what? The Haggadah. They're going to have the Haggadah because it's, it's such a marvelous and important, vital night. It's little fundamentals. So the, the, the question is, is that why would we go from the best to the worst? Wouldn't it make more sense if we're going from Chacham? Okay, Chacham is the wise son. He's the righteous son. He's a good guy. So it makes sense. It makes sense that we we start with from, from them. But the um, why is the the third son, shouldn't he come second? The poor guy is a simple guy. Just because he's simple, he, we, we put him, you know? It, it just, it's hard, it's hard to, um, it's very hard to uh, understand what's, what's going on over there. That, um, so, the Avne Nazar starts to answer this, answer this question, I wanted to give my own, perhaps, idea about it. The Abdei Nezer says, if, the answer is in the Talmud Yerushalmi. The Talmud Yerushalmi doesn't call the third son <laughs> the simple son. It calls him the stupid son, the silly son. It calls him the tippish. The, the Yerushalmi has a totally different um, girsa than the Babli. And that's what the Avni Nazar answers. He says that the, um, the most important thing that we have, right? Now, we have to understand. The most valuable asset every human being has is his das, is his understanding. And if that's why if you look in Shemona Esrei, our Chachamim, every day we daven three times, right? Shachris, Mincha, Arvit, Mayriv. What is the first thing we ask for, we beseech the Almighty for, to give us that we need so desperately? Is Das. You know why? Because you could have, it says, they would say in Yerushalayim, as the Gemara Nedarim says, Dedabe Kulabe, Delodabe, Mabe. Right? If you have Das, then you have everything. If you don't have das, what do you have? You really have nothing. It's kind of like the one, a person, if he has a million dollars, so he has a one with a lot of zeros. But if you don't have the one, you have just what? A bunch of zeros. So every blessing Hashem gives you, if you don't know how to use it properly, the das is like that one that comes, you know, then it makes all the zeros. That's why... We ask Hashem for refua. We ask Hashem for bracha. We ask Hashem for peace. But if you if you if you if you're like 
what the Yerushalmi calls, calls, calls the third son, the third son is somebody that's just probably like a surf beach bum. He just wants to have fun the whole time. He doesn't want to use his brain. He wants to act like an animal. See, the reason why the second week, the Russia is better than the third son. You know why? Because obviously who's using his brain? Not only brains, there's three levels. There's Chachma, which is the basic knowledge. Then there's Bina, the emotional attachment and the insight. And then Da'as, is the sensitivity to know where what belongs where right to have that sensitivity which we're going to get more into but so obviously the pinnacle our star of the night is the chacham he's using his understanding in the most meaningful and best way but the russia is the second best you know why because at, at least the russia is conniving and doing bad things but at least he's he's using his brains right and now he's using his brains maybe for those yeshivish people out there to go to college, he's not learning enough, or he's using his brains to read, you know. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's using his brains maybe to how to steal and embezzle from people, or, you know. But at least he's using his brains. He's superior to who? The third son. And that's really kind of how the Avni Nezer understand this, but I just wanted to take this one step further of how important it is. What What is the really meaning of Das, right? Because we said, there's three levels of Jewish wisdom. The first is basically getting the raw information, which is Chachma. Then there's Bina, which is the insight into it. And then the highest level is Das. What is exactly Das? So there's a very important medrash, the first medrash Rabbah that we read in last week's parsha by Yikra. This week's parsha is Sav. The Chachamim say over there, Kol Talmud Chacham Shein Boy Das, every, any Talmud Chacham that doesn't have understanding, Rachman of God forbid, a Nevela, a dead carcass of an animal. You know, when one makes Shechita, if he doesn't do it the right way, if his hand slips, what is what becomes of the animal? A non-kosher. It says a nevela is superior to a Talmud Chacham that doesn't have das. That's how important das is, by the way. To go back to the Gemara, Shas also says, "Call me shame, but das aser l'rachem alav." Anybody that doesn't have das, you can't have mercy on him, right? Because that's like the problem with the the, the libertards, right? They have mercy on people that don't have das, and then. They let people out of prison and the guy goes and kills another 10 people. It's not enough that he killed 10 people 20 years ago. If the guy is, doesn't have das, right? It, it, this is a serious fundamental problem in our society. What we're talking about tonight is the difference between life and death. Don't think it's like something in philosophy, right? So Chazal says something very sharp about the Talmud Chacham that has a lot of Chachma, but he doesn't have das. And why is the nevela better to him? Because the Midrash says at least the nevela you could sell to a guy. But a Talmud Chacham that doesn't have das, he, he's so dangerous that we, we can't do anything with him. There's no benefit to him. He does more harm than good. So I wanted to be Mazra. This this came to me, Misiyat Nishmaya, this last Shabbos. I told my cousin and I wanted to say it because it's really what the whole Seder is about. That's why the the the, the Russia. Is using his das at least. Chacha is using his das. So at least he comes second place. The tam is the tipish, the Yerushalmi says. He's not using his das. That's the worst. And the Eno Yadei Lishol is not even with the program, right? He's not even in the ballpark. So, see, the issue is like this. What is the greatest goal of all our... Why do we learn the Misil Sisharim? Why do we learn everything? What's the ultimate goal of all this, this whole Anchalada, this whole... Cholent of Torah and mitzvahs and learning, doing all this stuff. You, you know what the ultimate goal is? To make a Kiddush Hashem, right? We have to be so noble and humble and angelic and godly and refined that all our actions, they scream and they give out a shout out of Kiddush Hashem, right? That everybody that sees us, they want to copy us and be a mirror image of us, right? The goal of everything, we're, and that's why 
the, the biggest Avera is a Chilul Hashem. Right? That's why if you look in the Rambam and the base of the Gemara and Yuma, Daf Pevav, which sin doesn't get forgiven? Even Yom Kippur and Yisurim cannot cause the sin to be forgiven unless you die. Right? The, 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 the Avera of Chilul Hashem is so terrible that Rachman Litzlan, until the day that one passes away, the um, you don't you never get forg- forgiven, right? Because now here's the here's the thing I wanted to explain. This is how I wanted to explain. The Gemara in Yuma says, "Hey, domi chil Hashem for a tamechacham. A tamechacham is a person that has to be super careful to do what? Because the more Torah you know, the more Hashem in the world, your environment, the people that are observing you, the more they expect of you to be what?" Careful in your actions, right? The more meticulous you have to be to make a Kiddush Hashem. Like the Gemara says, Rabbi Yechanan says, what's a Chil Hashem for me? If I walk four Amos without learning and have tyrant fill in, that's a Chil Hashem. Rav said, if I go to the butcher and I don't pay him right away, and then people think that, oh, you could just buy in credit and not be so careful to pay your debts, that's, Rav said, that's for me, what? A Chil Hashem. So the greater Torah knowledge you have, the more careful you have to be to be what? Not to make a Chil Hashem. That's the problem. That's why Chazal say, a Talmud Chacham that doesn't have the sensitivity, the Talmud Chacham is not, he has a lot of information, Chokhmah, and he may have some insight, Bina, but he's not putting the whole program together to realize that the whole reason for this, all this baggage that I have, all this great wisdom that I have is to make a Kiddush Hashem. Right? He's negligent. He's doing rabbinical Talmud Chacham malpractice. So by his malpractice, he's considered what? He's doing what? He's going to be chas v'shalom, a source of what? Chil Hashem. That's the pshat. Chachamim say, that's why it's so terrible. Because now that he knows all the Torah, he has to be extra sensitive. Da'as is that sensitivity, Rav Volbe says. Da'as is to know, because we learn it from Moshe Rabbeinu, the Medrash says, Right? That's the whole Indian of matzah, by the way. Das is that humility and the good midos and the, the common sense. Moshe Rabbeinu could have just barged in to the oil mayid, but it says Vayikra. He had the sensitivity to understand, listen, I'm not God, even though I'm God's most favorite prophet, and God talks to me face to face, this is not like uh, my house that I could just go in without permission. Moshe waited, then what did Hashem do? Hashem called him See, Moshe had that understanding and sensitivity to realize, I'm not allowed to go into the oil moed, the meeting tent, right? The uh, mobile Beis Amikdash that they had in the in the desert for 40 and less, unless Hashem calls me. How did Moshe Rabbeinu know that? That it's not appropriate for him to enter without being called? Because he had das. He had humility, right? If you, That's the whole, matzah, the whole thing that we're trying... Right? We turn our lives upside down. Some people from a month before Pesach, some people, depends how yekish you are, but some people from at least a week or two weeks before Pesach. When we're trying to destroy chametz, what are we trying to destroy? We're trying to destroy gaiva. Some people, they get so engulfed in their own ego that they're not sensitive to anybody else. And they're like a bulldozer. They harm other people. They're very negative to other people. They put down other people, right? And that's what we need to burn. That's what ultimately das is. Da, and that's why it says that unfortunately somebody that doesn't have this das, see, the Russia at least is trying to get the das, so that's why he's second best, right? But may Hashem help us always. That's why, by the way, we say Baruch Atah Hashem Chonen Hadda'at. Right? We don't ask Hashem for Bina or Chachma. Because, right, in the end of the day, if we can't put this whole tripod of Chachma, Bina, Vadas together, and it doesn't come to, our wisdom doesn't come to the practical fruition of sensitivity and making in Kiddush Hashem, ultimately it's all worthless. You could know as much Torah as Rav Avadi and Rav Chaim Kanievsky combined, but if you don't have the sensitivity to be a walking Kiddush Hashem, Chachamim say, a Tamil Chacham that doesn't have Das, he's more worthless than what? A carcass of an animal. It's a scary thing. So that's why the Chachamim, specifically 
in Shwana Esrei, the the um you know the the Makabe Patish, what we're really, really looking for, the desirable, you know, final final product is Das, and Hashem should give it to us all. Hashem should help us to really truly always be the right full package. Amen, King Ratzon.